Welcome again, my friends. Our video today is about the importance of effective communication on board ships. Communication is one of the most important elements of human interaction. Consequently, the benefits of effective communication are noticeable since they improve all aspects of our personal and professional lives. In the world of international shipping, with multinational as well as multicultural crew, effective communication between those on board ships and between ship to ship and ship to shore is vitally important. Hence, misunderstanding or ineffective communication in seafarers' professional lives may have disastrous results. Communication difficulties in the maritime field often occur due to cultural differences but also due to language barriers. A recently reported mooring accident may illustrate these communication problems clearly. Tanker mooring accident. A 80,000 grass tonnage Korean tanker was burdened at an oil terminal in the United Kingdom when a mooring line got broken and struck the crew of a mooring boat causing serious injuries. The pilot, who was British, tried to run the breast line ashore but not to make it fast until the ship was alongside the dock. The pilot believed that the master, who was Korean, had understood his intention. However, the master thought that the line had to be heave tied and instructed the second mate on the forecastle deck accordingly. Because of all verbal communication between the master and the crew was in Korean, the pilot didn't understand nor realized that his intention had been mistaken until the accident happened. The accident was caused due to the breakdown of communication between the pilot and the ship's master, which demonstrates the need of effective communication to ensure safe and efficient ship operations. By and large, it is a self-evident fact that people speaking different languages can generally not communicate at all and even people speaking the same language can misunderstand themselves. Therefore, for effective communication, when the sender of a message communicates with the intended recipient, there has to be a unique contest framework where tests or words must be used consistently in order to avoid confusing messages. Normally, the language used on board ships is the national language of the crew. Nevertheless, in these days of multinational crew, merchant ships must conduct ship-to-ship -ship and ship-to-shore communications in a language that can be understood as navigational and safety communication must be precise and unambiguous to avoid confusion and error. Thus, the chosen international standard for achieving effective communication on the maritime field is the English language. A convenient standard of English is therefore not only an international requirement for certification of seafarers, but also a key element in ensuring safe, efficient, and profitable ship operations. Nonetheless, even English speakers misunderstand each other at times due to the regional variations of the English language, which increase the possibilities for miscommunication. 
So, what can be done to limit misunderstanding and improve communication in the maritime field? According to the International Maritime Organization, the IMO, the answer is to use a standard form of English where, if it is possible, words convey only one meaning so that the opportunities for miscommunication are reduced to the lowest level possible. Hence, in the early 90s, the International Maritime Organization decided to work and develop a more comprehensive standardized safety language covering all major safety-related verbal communications. And after a long gestation period, the standard marine communication phrases, SNCP, was adopted by the Assembly in November 2001 as Resolution A-918-22. Nowadays, the maritime world has, like many specialized areas of activity, a language of its own, and some of the words and phrases are unlikely to mean anything outside of the maritime world, or if the words are understood literally, the listener will gain a wrong and possibly odd understanding as well. Some examples of the SNCP words are the following, forward spring, that is a rope, jixi, that is a part of the windlass, Monkey Island, that is a place on the top of the wheelhouse, and Bean, that is the distant measure from starboard to port side. So, the vocabulary is aimed to the real work of the seafarers, and it is a key instrument to accomplish an effective communication aboard and improving ships' operations. Although being able to communicate in English is extremely important for seafarers, it is also important for them to be familiar with the words and phrases of the SNCP. And that's why standards of training, certification and watchkeeping, STCW convention, has made his learning a mandatory requirement. Finally, at educational maritime institutions, communicative language teaching makes use of real-life situations that need communication and the SNCP provides that useful tool for developing those situations. So, the task of the teachers of Maritime English is to create enough opportunities for learning to take place. Thank you very much for your attention, see you next video.